Jesus Christ. That's it. Anybody else? Know? C Dub T F B nah. Radio, episode one seventy eight. Let's get it. That's it. Nobody else. Nobody else. Shout out to you every other day, nigga. You know that. Welcome I'm back to you. You know that. You know that. Sir. It's never enough. I'm still down yeah. to FanDuel. I'm down FanDuel like. I'm not gonna say it out loud. My wife be listening. <laughs> she be all up You're down how much? <laughs> yeah. You're down what? I'm actually up. I'm up. I'm up. Yeah. He can say I'm up. <laughs> Are we good? Yeah. What's up? Are we looking? Is niggas speeding down a dead end. Nah, that's you know niggas be niggering. Yeah. Sure. All right, all right. All right, man. This is C Dub TFB Radio. I am your host, Charlie Machine, alongside my right hand man, Cash. No motherfucking sense. Just in cash, man. Y'all niggas, niggas know, know you need some, some cash, cash man. man. That shit on the parlay. And you know that. Parlay. And you know that. Pray for the parlay. Pray for the parlay, man. We C Dub TFB Radio. Let's choose what the future brings, man. Black culture Black. through music. Black we in the Garage Media Center at the Sound Lab this Thursday and every other Thursday. Come on, let's get it, baby. Every other Thursday that we not on here because there's no Thursday that we not on here. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. So, like, so. You know, I, I was trying to figure out where the fuck you was going with yeah, that. Yeah, I was yeah, like, oh, yeah, I didn't know. I was like, either. God damn. Like, it, was it was tough. It was tough landing leaving? it, but I landed it. That was good. That was yeah, good. That was thank strong. You, thank you. But yeah, man. Uh, um, yeah. But yeah, man. Uh, Shout out to this, uh, the Sound Lab, man. Shout out to Nicole DeSilva. She in here, man. Shout out my man Melo. He in here. Shout out my man Kong. Get it on. He in here. Whatever team you on, you need a nigga like Kong. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to all the creatives in the Sound Lab. You got Devo. You got J Rose. You got... I mean, God damn, I'm drawing blanks, but you got everybody up there. I was going to say, like, how good is it? How, how do I keep doing that yeah, shit every yeah, motherfucker yeah, week? No yeah, I mean, yeah, but yeah, you yeah, already know. You know, love yeah. is love, man. That's family. That's the home team. Yeah, the home and team shout out big homie create, 211, man. big Shug, RX Pandemic, man. And this is where we at, man. How you doing, my boy? I'm good, baby. Summertime starting to feel like, I think. I starting think, to feel like? I think it's summertime now. It's definitely feeling yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, it's I hot heard, as fuck. I heard, I heard a cop got shot. So oh, yeah, summer, that's right. Summer's activated. Yeah, cop, they get shot. I blame Michelle Wu. Ooh, I, you know what? I, I like that. Yeah. Was she driving? That car? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 She was she, driving? She had to be. No, no. agents can't drive. Yeah. <laughs> You know, you know, the insurance is, you know, their, their number one op is insurance. <laughs> On that Got to be car insurance. Nigga. Yo, like, Geico hates their guts. Uh, nigga, like, yo, oh, they were dragging her for that accident, man. Damn, of course man. they was, man. But the city, city's turned up. Um, yeah. But I, I'm feeling good, man. I feel like it's going to be a good summer. I, I, I hope so. Yeah, I you know think it's I mean? going to be a good summer, you know. Like, good average amount of niggas going to get shot. Well, Nothing the, more you than know, the average. The whole shit with the cop shit, right? Like, when the cop got shot, like, when you first found out, that, like, you know, that cop got shot, like, how'd you take that in? I wanted to hear the story, because okay. a nigga who shoots a cop, yeah, like, it takes, like, like your your blood is rushing. Things got to be going crazy, right? right? So I heard he thought he was in Grand Theft Auto. Right. So son ran into a building, because he'd been robbing delivery drivers on the street. Okay. And so... The cop was like investigating the shit and he was robbing the delivery driver while the cop was investigating at oh, the spot. Oh, okay. So when you dude jumped out on, he's like, oh shit, you ain't supposed to be here, nigga. Like, bow, you know what I mean? And he running and he goes up to the top of a building and he tries to jump off a roof onto another roof. Mm. And he don't make it because mm. he don't train for that. He don't ever he he don't don't, train for that. He don't ever jump from no roof to roof. So the nigga missed and landed in the middle of the alley and landed straight down them, and broke his leg. He thought he was one of them French niggas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like what the fuck he thought this was, nigga. Like Guardians of the Galaxy, nigga. Like the fuck out of here, nigga. Like oh so, god. Yeah, so son, so son fell down and then, yeah. So they, I seen the court appearance. Mm. Every nigga in the courtroom was a cop. Yep. They was already there. Like go Absolutely. ahead and. Go ahead and don't fry this man. Watch, Absolutely. Watch what happens. Absolutely. Don't fry, they gonna fry him. But you know what I love the most, mm. right? 
about that whole situation was the immediate, you know, reaction after the cop got to the hospital. He got shot twice, whatever. The commissioner was outside. Mm. And there's this heckler, this Cape Verdean dude. I forget his name. This dude is literally at every crime scene. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's I thought it was a woman at first, but you know what I mean? It's he 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 gay. You know what I mean? He gay dude. So he makes you know, he, he sounds like he a sound woman like, shit. He like that shit. That's I thought compliment. it was a woman who sounded like, you know, like she smoked mad Newports and shit, like mm, she's Roxbury. We and know shit. those. You know what I'm saying? But like it was really just a gay guy. And <laughs> he's like the commission ain't about to say shit because I'm in here. This is live action. Channel 5, nigga. Yeah. I'm watching this shit after the finals, right? Yeah, 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 and then yeah, it goes yeah. to this shit and all I see is like, yeah, the commission ain't about to say shit. And they're like, oh my God, we have to cut this off. <laughs> <laughs> right? So then I'm like, yo, what the fuck is going on? Shit, so then they, they go back to the new center and yeah. then they're like, okay, let's get let's, another let's word from back. the commissioner. Yeah, yeah. And all you hear is this nigga in the back like, cocksucker. <laughs> cocksucker. <laughs> And I'm like, I know one when I see one. <laughs> I'm, like, <laughs> I'm like, yo, God damn it. I'm like, yo, this guy is good. I was like, this guy's good for TV. Uh, I heard people hate him, but I, I just found out about him that time and I thought it was crazy. So look, we're not glorifying cops getting shot and shit. You know what I'm saying? It just means that the summer's activated. All I'm saying is when we get shot, you know, y'all don't never find out who did it. You know what I'm saying? Y'all never put too much effort into finding out who did it and things of that nature. Um, but, you know, obviously, you shoot at a cop. You know, yeah, well, yeah, this yeah. situation was a little different. He bodied himself. Yeah, you know nah, I mean? he fucked up. But, yeah. but, you know, things of that nature. But, oh, you know, I'm glad you all right, my man. You know what I'm saying? He got shot twice. Yeah, you gonna live. You gonna I mean, you fine. live to the rest of another nigga. You, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, straight up. Either way, yeah. man. Um, and he... <laughs> <laughs> Anything else you want to talk about before we talk about this music, man? No, nah, man. Because I'm excited for tonight's guest, man. Yeah, me too. So I'm, I want to open the topics with the guests. I'm sure the guests, you know, because I want to talk about Zion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. man, and shit like that. Oh, I want to talk about Sukiyana too, man. Sukiyana, yeah, yeah, like shit like yeah, that. Yeah, that'd be a good topic. White K.O. and all good that. Good topics. Good topics. You know what I'm saying? But, um, but yeah, man. Um, all right, man. Red Cups and Ratings. This week, we have two albums just like every other motherfucking week, man. Um, the first one we're gonna start off with is somebody who's been around the music scene for a while now, man. He ain't really been dropping in a while. I mean, this dude goes live way more than he does music, <laughs> right? I mean, like, I don't understand where he finds the time to go live. Ben but with is crazy, but <laughs> <laughs> but um, you know, he, he's he's a great character, man. Um, and he finally dropped a, a project in a little while, man. We're talking about my man, Annunciation Blue. This is 34, where I score. It's about six tracks long, 19 minutes in this entirety. What you think, bro? Uh, I thought it was, honestly, man, uh, he says a lot. He says this a lot. I'm not a rapper. Yeah. Like, he says it. I'm not a rapper. Like, that's, right. that's his shit. So, like, if you're not a rapper, then why are you rapping? and i understand like you could like you could like it and i get it like the production i like i like the beat selection yeah because niggas like hip-hop right so nigga know what kind of beats he like and the hook he he you know he wants to come up with the little hook it's cool but the bars were lazy bro the yeah, bars were. were just lazy this is true he was just like man he was just like shooting it from half court like did it hit yeah. Yeah, you know I mean, like there was some bars it was just like, yeah, you know I mean, being broke is not a joke and ha ha ha. Like that's 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 old bar. Like there was this is nothing that was hitting, like all like everything was pretty much like he was kind of telling his story the best way he could. I don't think he was telling his story at all. I think the only song that he really told his story was Remember. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, talking about his, his yeah, about his, yeah. Um, I'm assuming. You know, I think it was his grandmother, his mother. Can't really tell exactly what he's talking about. But either way, yeah. I think that was like the most vulnerable record he had. Um, I don't think I think everything was very surface level. You know what I'm saying? Like, and just given just given his opinion on a lot of music, right? And how he critiques a lot of shit. I just thought he would have came harder with, with with the bars, man. Yeah, and and with just the creativity and and in reality, it just sounded very novice to me. 
Like, it didn't sound polished at all. And it wasn't like he sucks at rap. No. It's just for what the esteem that I held him at, he didn't deliver. Nah, he definitely. But it's what other project can we, what are we comparing it to? You know what I'm saying? Well, that's what I mean. The lives had me <laughs> blind. <laughs> you know what I'm so it was the lives, man. The lives had me fucked up. <laughs> I thought the lives. I mean, every the, time I tune into the live, he say, "I'm not a rapper." The every time I tune into the live, he's saying, "I'm biased and I don't bring real niggas up on the show and things of that nature." So it's like I thought he was gonna give niggas something real to like, really, you know what I mean? Take home and be like, "Yo, this is it. This the shit." You know what I mean? Some regulars on there, man. Yeah, and it was some regular Douglas shit. Like it wasn't bad. It like, wasn't don't get bad. Me wrong. Like nah, it, wasn't it wasn't garbage, bad. but it nah. just wasn't what I wanted it to be. I thought it was gonna be a hitter. You know what I mean? Um Yeah, I mean, you know, the beats was cool. The beats are light. You know, um, you know, lyrics could have definitely been tougher. Um, you know, there was a lot of things that again, like I said, it, it just wasn't tailored to him. You know, I did like Lost. I did like the, the beginning joint where yeah, he was yeah, like, yeah. you know, he come up with my old name, he don't know the real me. Yeah. Um, you know, like that that was kinda, you know, scratching the surface. Yeah. And things of that nature, man. But you know what I mean, Blue. If you're gonna do this shit, Blue, just you gotta go harder than that, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause there's a lot. Cause when you talk about Mission Hill, bro, when you think about Mission Hill, you think about Bricks immediately. Yeah. And then Bricks is one of the front runners right yeah, now. We, yeah. So it's like easily. if you close to that circle and things of that nature, my nigga. You you gotta come. You gotta hit harder than that. Bro. Yeah. You gotta like, bring. You gotta bring. You gotta bring, you gotta bring your A game. You gotta bring man. that shit. You know what I'm Bricks saying? Bricks throw it off the backboard. You got to win all that shit. And, and, and Bricks is super polished. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, especially with a name like Annunciation Blue. You, you, your name you, you is a Hill. street in Mission Hill, nigga. Like, Mission you know what I'm saying? Hill. So, you know what I mean? You, you got to come with that Money Hill shit, man. So, yeah. um, with that being said, man, you know. What we do? Out of five red cups, right? What we do with this, man? We gave my man Annunciation Blue... A solid 3.3 out of five red cups, man. Shout out my man Annunciation Blue. I didn't fucking hate it. I mean, it wasn't. I mean, 3.3 is all right. I didn't hate it. That's a good score. Given what we, you know. If I hated it, we wouldn't have scored it at all. Right. (laughs) Like, you know, nobody nobody has ever gotten like. Yeah, but either way. Yeah. Shout out Annunciation Blue, man. Um. All right, we're going to talk about the next joint. All right, man, so the next project we're going to talk about, man, this is somebody that we actually rated before um, real early on when we first started doing the ratings, and this is my guy, man. Like, oh, yeah. And this is why I want to tell y'all niggas, man. Niggas don't be biased because niggas want to talk about bias. Like, this is really my guy. The last one, we told y'all that, you know, he needed a lot of work and things of that nature, man. So um, I think... He took that advice, he took heed to that, he went back to the lab, and he created something mm-hmm. that was much better than the last one, man. Right. We talking about my man Rosario, TM1, he dropped Rugged Child, this is nine tracks long, 22 minutes in this entirety. What you think, Federal's bro? Federal's my track. Which one? The first one. Oh, Federal? Okay, yeah, that's okay. My that's my record. Like, I, I don't know if, like... He know that's his sound, but like that, it's like that new new pain sound. It's not like super hip hop, right? But it's a little vibe. It's a vibe. Right. You know what I mean? Like it's vibe rap, right? But he still like brought bars, like better bars than the last one, right? You know right. what I mean? So like right. that was the problem before. Like he had great beat selection before. Mm-hmm. Like the engineering was he was. In the lab, he's working. Like, yeah. he, you could tell that he's in a good studio. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, like, he had something to talk about. You know what I mean? So, this one was better than the last. That's what I That's what I expect, nigga. Like, if it was worse than the one before, then I'd been very upset. Right. But this one was a lot better. And, uh, yeah, the, the first record I liked a lot. Um, that was my favorite joint. Okay. I like that. Um Rosario, my nigga. Um, you know what I mean? Like, I still think 
that you still have some work to do, but what we're talking about from the last joint to this, you know, just seeing how you grew from as an artist from this one to that one. I mean, from that one to this one, as far as like just your vulnerability, Mm -hmm. um, your, your, your tonality on the records, um, you know, your, your sharpened pen, your better delivery. Um, the only thing I really could really say that was a drawback for me on this one was the in and outs, man. Like, you know, like, you know how niggas be punching in? Yeah. Like, niggas be punching in. Like, that's like a new thing. Like, niggas love to punch in these days. Niggas don't want to just do a straight 16. They'll do two bars and then two bars and then two bars and then two bars and then four bars and then another four bars. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I, I heard it. Like, just from knowing how that sounds, if I can hear it, it wasn't done as well as it should have been done. But other than that, my nigga, like, I could really say that's the only thing I had a problem with, man. You know, when we're talking about lyricists and things of that nature, um, I don't think Rosario's the strongest lyricist, but I think he has a way with um, delivering his message where it, it it's, you, you know exactly what he's trying to say. You know what I'm saying? I feel like because it's not make-believe. I right. feel like when a nigga actually... And he's not embellished. That's right. what I'm saying. When right. a nigga actually has a true message to deliver, it doesn't even matter, like... Like those right. who can receive it will receive it. Right. He talking about the accuracy of Lex Cocaine White. That's yeah. facts, yeah. nigga. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? If you know him, you know him. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you know, uh, you know, and, and he's talking about his peoples and things of that nature on him, man. Like, if you really know the kid, like you know that there's really no embellishing, there's no stretching, you know, and that's what I liked about from I'm even talking about the shit before we rated mm-hmm. his shit. Mm-hmm. Because a lot of his earlier shit, he was embellishing on how gangster and street he was, and I remember we had a conversation about that. And he was like, "Yo, you know what? That ain't even really me, nigga. Like, you know, I done, you know, moved around and shit like that. But the shit that I was saying in music, it wasn't really who I was. And he really embodied who he is on this one. He's a new father, my nigga. So shout out my man Rosario. You know what I'm saying?" Um, to say that I like like which one was my favorite one, I would have to say it was my blood, man. Um, you know, I, I, I think when he gets and he, when he gets in those modes where he talks about his super personal shit, that's why I like his his music the most, man, because he's not worried about bars, he's not worried about, you know, punchlines and things of that nature. He's just giving you a story, my nigga. He's giving you a piece of his life. Yeah. And I think that's the best type of shit that he creates. Man. I get that. You know what I'm saying? So I felt that. Let's 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 talk about what we rated Rosario, man. Rugged child out of five red cups. We get my man Rosario. Y'all ready for this? Come on, man. Why you waiting? <laughs> Three point nine out of five red cups, man. <laughs> Shout out my man Rosario, bro. Yo, keep working. Keep grinding, my nigga. Yeah, you know I mean, we gonna talk soon, my nigga. You know that. We gonna get the Russian judge on the mic. Don't worry. Sooner than later, sooner than later, because it's not just me and Cash on these ratings. The Russian judge is gonna pull up one of these days. Russian parks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Let's talk to the guest tonight. Oh, uh, come on, man. Let's go. Tonight we got somebody in the building, man. I mean, who's been Mr. Controversial? Um, yeah, you know, controversy <laughs> has to be his middle name. You know what I mean? I mean, this dude has been. I, and I'm not even trying to like gas him or nothing. He might have been the first nigga from Boston to go viral. And I'm talking about 10 years ago, 10 plus years ago. Um, you know, just on the internet shit. Mm-hmm. And just how I was talking about how Dog goes live more than he makes music. This nigga pisses more people off than he makes music. music. Oh, yeah. You know what oh, I'm saying? Yeah. Facts. And I don't know what it is. But I love this shit, my nigga. You know what I mean? So I need anybody and everybody to put your hands together. Give your undivided attention to my man, Young Cartel. What's good, baby? What's up, dog? What's up, Let's get to What's the word, my boy? Views, baby. <laughs> Y'all ready to go viral? Yo, what's up, man? I'm trying to go viral, nigga. What up? <laughs> That's why I'm here. What you going to do today, man? How you doing, I'm man? Same, man. I'm cool, and you know me, fresh off the plane and shit. Yes, sir. So, you know, I come through, show love. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate Plus you pulling been up. here, but I yeah. wasn't right yet. It, it was, it was a t- I don't think neither of us was right. Nah, you know I wasn't I mean? right yet. Nah, I think it was both of us, just because 
with the time that we were supposed to do that last episode, I don't think the bandwidth was there yet. I don't think it would have hit the way it hit now. Like not, I mean, you just came off of Cam Capone, you know what I'm saying? And things of that nature. Um, and you had just, you had just, just, just came home when we was talking about that. You know what I'm saying? So I think the timing now, like we grew more, you grew more and things of that nature. So I think everything happens for a reason, man. You know what I'm saying? But how you doing, man? I'm doing great. Yeah. For the yeah. For, so for the people who don't know you, my nigga, you know what I'm saying? Which if you paying attention to Boston music and things of that nature, the Boston music scene, you don't know who he is. But for the people who don't know who you are, man, give us a quick rundown who you are, what you do, what you represent. First of all, I want to say thank you for bring, bringing me on your platform, first of all. Absolutely, brother. You already know what time it is. So I go by Young Cartel, born and raised in Dorchester, Boston, you know what I'm saying? Phil's Corner. You know, long story short, he said, I've been doing this shit for more than 10 years. You know what I'm saying? But, like, I've been doing this shit for more than 10 years, but the whole 10 years, I've been who the fuck I was. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like he said, I was to been here when I came home. Everybody wanted an interview when I first came home. Mm. But I just did a half a decade upstate. Mm. I wasn't mentally ready for that shit. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it's like... You know how he just said an artist was up here saying he's not a rapper. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like, I wasn't a real rapper. Like, you know, That's like the my interview, you, was you know on, what I'm saying? Yeah. My interview explained I wasn't a rapper. Right. You know what I'm saying? It was like this shit chose me because it was like, I can talk that shit, mm. but not only talk it, but I really lit this shit. So it was like, everything I say in my songs, I then they found, got found guilty of all of it. <laughs> so I'm not going to be here self snitching on myself when I really done. Did everything in these fucking lyrics. You a terrible criminal. <laughs> Face it, right? Not anymore. <laughs> but I mean, if you get caught, you a bad criminal, right? Obviously, like I always said that. Yeah, I don't. I never got caught for like making money. I, I got caught for like <laughs> niggas like crossing the line and like Getting licks. <laughs> yeah, sending. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see you in niggas. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, but like. That's not like, you know what I'm saying? That's mm-hmm. what anybody in this room would do. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know how it is where we come from. It's like, it's eat or be eaten. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, what you think this rap shit bring with that? Mm. You know what I'm saying? So it's like. So so what type of time you on now, man? Because I see you trying to change your image. I'm not really trying to change my image. It's just that like, why well, be out here like faking the funk like I'm still doing this shit. Right. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like. I came home working a fucking job and went viral for right. the MBTA and <laughs> lost the job. <laughs> so what happened with that? Like, like I almost that? went back to jail. Violation of parole. You got a record job, right? Like, so, so what happened? Like, what like, the nigga, I went and got another job. So, nah, hold up. What um, happened with the MBTA? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I remember Wait, you. Man, I ain't talking about <laughs> that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to the MBTA, man. Fuck Y'all keep niggas yeah. moving. It ain't like a nigga drove a bus or something. It ain't like a nigga drove a bus. You know damn well I wasn't driving no bus or no train or nothing. Right. You could do anything for the MBTA. They got motherfucking red shirts out there making damn at 20, over 20 hours an hour. Like, Yo, so, so hold up. So the MBTA hired you and they didn't do a background check? <laughs> <laughs> you got a story like that, don't you? <laughs> That's insane. I mean, I can relate. <laughs> yeah, they're good. <laughs> Not doing background checks. Shame on them. Just laying a half word, half ass backwards into a good situation, my but nigga. But it was really more like nobody, I didn't, it was more like a viral moment, though. Yeah. Because I had a message with it. Because right. at the end of the day, it was like, I just did a half a decade and I came home to my own crib, to my kids, had a good job. Like, I didn't need to trap or rap no more. Right. I'm an OSHA 30. You know, I'm a certified automotive technician. Yeah. I was in the union. Like, I went to college in prison. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? I got my diploma in prison. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I built my shit up. I, I was in there. You know what I'm saying? So it was like, Everest? 
Uh, nah, Mount Wachusetts. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what was what was <laughs> guys diploma, they gave What was uh? What, nah, nah, no bullshit. Let's clap it up for that, yeah, my nigga. Y'all mean they just gave diplomas in jail and shit. I mean, I know, I know I mean, you could do that. As, as much wreck we can catch. Now, you, now you go, now you gonna have niggas go to jail just to go to college. Like, yo, I shot a nigga. Nah, just not go to college. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> but look, hey, yo, but don't, but dog, look though, like. Like you said, I did an interview with Ken Capone. The first video is what it says. I was locked up for attempted murder in the seventh grade. Mm. I dropped out in the seventh grade. So I never got the chance to finish school. Mm. So I never went back. So you know what I'm saying? So it's like the only chance I had a chance to actually go to school and graduate was in prison. What the fuck? I got a five and a half year sentence. Yeah, what else? What you, you, never went to high, you never went to high school? Nah. Nah. What? But like, I thought n- n- niggas, niggas told me you went to high place? school. Oh, uh, what, what, what high school you went to? Where? Some shit, some shit, day and evening or some shit. Nah. What an alternative school? Yeah, when yeah, I said yeah. in the interview, if you go take a, ch- a test, no child left behind, they pitch you in a grade. You go to alternative school on Shirley Street off of Dully Street right, right, from right. middle school yeah. to high school. Yeah, I went there for fucking sixty days, not even with niggas from Dun Dilly's way, and was fucking fighting with niggas because I was from a certain side of the town. I never went back, and I went right to DYS. I did time. So wh- why did, did why did you go back? <laughs> for what? The only nigga from my hood going to school by himself and always getting to some shit. <laughs> and niggas got to keep driving to the other side of town to rescue me. Nigga looking at his hands like, you ready? <laughs> <laughs> ain't looking at no hands. We ain't looking at no hands. Like, I went to, pr- I was going to jail at that time. 14, yeah. 15 for discharging firearms. I saw an intent to mm. murder of a night. Like, I went, to, this is yeah. not like, they are not fighting be- our school, nigga. Niggas is dying. What I heard was that you got your ass beat and never went back to high school. I got my eyes beat and never went back to high school. If, that, that, I wasn't if you want to take that, what I just you know what said, mean? I was going to school every day on the other side of the town with ops every day and I left school because of what? It's not safe, right? So first of all, if a nigga say he whooped my eyes, how about the nigga that say he whooped my eyes come whoop my eyes now? Because when I went to that school, I was 14. Wow. I'm 31 right now and I guarantee that nigga can't fuck with me. Okay. I mean, I know the guy. I don't give he a fuck. Hands. I don't you know give a fuck. I ain't no bitch. Yeah, you know I mean, I ain't saying you a so bitch. So what? But, but what if I a heard. nigga say I went to school and I was fighting and didn't go back, nigga, you can't win everything. I never sat here and said I beat everybody up at the school. Okay. But I just sit here and said I was going to school on the other side and niggas was coming there every day, had to rescue me because I was fighting with niggas and so, I didn't go back to school. So what you saying? You is said it at wasn't, the end of that that so, I didn't go back. I already told you I didn't go back. So so it was because <laughs> you you got beat up. It wasn't because I got beat up. It's because I kept fighting. I win some, you lose some. But I guarantee for a fact, niggas going to say I never want to fight there. Okay. That's real. Real nigga. That's real. I'm not saying you never want to fight. All I'm fuck? saying is that you lost a fight and you never I, went I back after that. A nigga, I guarantee a nigga, but I'm a grown-ass man. I was just upstate. And nigga can't say that I lost a fight up there. Speaking to the mic, bro. You know what I'm saying? A nigga can't say I just lost a fight upstate. And one of the most places I don't think I, I mean, anybody here I've ever been to Concord, Shirley, any of these places, Walpole. Only, nah, man. only to visit. But nah. I'm saying, but okay, okay. But, I can't but, visit. but the fighting is different. <laughs> the fighting is different. The smallest nigga is his size. All right. Mm-hmm. Smallest nigga is his size. And that nigga, you better get ready. I'm getting a knife for him. So you was just doing mad push ups. Mad push ups? What? That wasn't even a word. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, am I going to sit here and lie? Nigga, I did this shit. You can't catch wreck because I really did this shit. A nigga, nobody in this room would want to go sit in one of the most dangerous prisons up north for a half a decade. Mm. When niggas is dying on the left and right of you, especially when it was COVID. Mm. And niggas getting brought on body bags piled up and so, you don't know if you're making home. So when did you actually get home? What September 2020. 2020. Okay. Over here. Yeah. What, what was that like? What was that transition like? like you, it was, I told you, you, I wasn't ready. You didn't get I no was, p- 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 paper? What, pay? Some the pee 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 now, COVID was 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 a wild time. No, it was man. the worst. It was so the for worst. you to for you to come home in that time, it was no experiencing COVID. Y'all experienced COVID in y'all homes. I experienced COVID in Shirley Medium, mm. right there next to Susan Baranowski. It was a guard that brought that shit in. Listen, right. So in March, everybody be working out. Everybody go to the gym, to the yard, this time up there. I'm on D block. You know what I'm saying? And niggas is working out. I'm working out with my celly, and 
they just shut the shit down. We was like, oh, everybody back to the blocks. So, you know, we do that. Niggas is fighting. All the shit, shit shut down. Something happened. Somebody just got poked up or something. So, niggas is like, oh, shit. We trying to rush back and figure out what happened. And niggas is getting on point trying to figure out what happened at the end of the day, too. So, we go back. And they lock us down. So we's like, all right, we gonna come out. It's like eight o'clock at night. We gotta go take showers and shit. Niggas is just playing ball. Niggas is working out. So it's like, nobody's coming out for the night. So we're like, damn, somebody probably got really fucked up. Mm. So the next day, they bring breakfast to the cells, just cornflakes and like two slices of bread and milk. Mm. And niggas is like, what the fuck is going on? Then they kept, then they brought bologna sandwiches. Then they brought fucking shit for dinner, like bullshit. And they just kept doing it for days. Mm. And niggas like, what the fuck is so going on? So nobody even knew what was going on. We don't even know COVID exists. These oh, niggas shit. are screaming at each other. Hey, what the fuck is going on, man? We don't even know COVID exists. Y'all don't even know COVID exists. This is before March, but this is like March when it really, really hit. Okay. Around that time. Like, so it's like, that shit hit New York in December 2021. Yeah, but like when it was in mass, niggas was dying in the prisons in January and February and March, and yeah. it wasn't making the news. Mm. So the, oh, yeah, wasn't definitely making not news. making the news. So when, it was, when niggas was dropping January, February, March, it was just like, oh, shit. Now it was making the news in March, so I locked the prisons down, and then we in there locked in basically in a cell 24 hours a day with another nigga in a cell. No phone calls, no showers, no nothing. And not eating nu- nothing nutritious for fucking months. Mm. Did you whoop a nigga's ass when y'all found out like it was COVID <laughs> and niggas started coughing? Like if a nigga started coughing crazy, y'all look at him like, hey, yo. Nah, if we seen a nigga coughing, we was like, shh. <laughs> <laughs> we seen a nigga coughing, we was like, shh. Like, nigga niggas, <laughs> like, shut the fuck up. Nigga said, wreck the fucking cell. Nigga, wreck this in 20 minutes. Look, nigga, look, I hear the fuck. <laughs> you cut shut the fuck up. Yo, get in the cell. I gotta call my bitch. Yo, nigga, you start coughing, nigga, shut the fuck up. Them niggas coming in in white suits and all that, put them the thing mm. up your nose. Oh, all shit. types of shit. Niggas is crying. Niggas like, yo, get the fuck. Niggas is stealing on them, all types of shit, bro. Like, niggas coming in with the white suits, I just lined up, nigga. Niggas is talking about, I can't smell nothing. I can't taste nothing. Uh, and man, then, like, yeah, look, look, look. And the guards is like, yeah, me neither. Shut the fuck up. Me neither. Walk by next morning. Eight niggas is like dead. <laughs> hey, yo. You laughing on dead dog. That's crazy. Nigga, I know That's niggas that crazy. died. So they quarantine us. So if you had COVID or your cellular had COVID, they all put you on one side of the prison on the same block. So if you got COVID, you got COVID, we all got COVID. They put us all together. Oh. Nigga, y'all are all going to die. What the <laughs> fuck are you talking about? I don't want to go with everybody that got COVID. I'm never going to hell. Because as soon as the next nigga get COVID, you can be there for six days. And you come over there today, fresh with COVID, you get, you reinfect everybody. Got to kill that thing. You, you fucking up because everybody immune system weak. So guess what? Everybody that's on A, B, and C, them niggas is dying. So everybody that's on D, E, F, that's the D, E, F side. That's the death side. That's where all the Boston niggas and behind Sh- and Shirley niggas don't be on the A, B, C side. That's new man. And that's like the old people side and right, shit. Right, so right. it's like, niggas is like, fuck that nigga. Y'all ain't taking us to no quarantine block. Like, nigga, you, we going to the box. Niggas is not taking no COVID tests and ain't none of that shit. We ain't coming out the cell. Like, fuck that. It's war with the police. Because mm, it's right. like, how you going to house us and don't tell us nothing? And then we turn the news on. They telling y'all can't go outside and y'all are going crazy because y'all got curfew and can't go outside. Nigga, we can't come out the cell and shower. I know. I you getting pussy, nigga. you getting money, you smoking weed, you drinking liquor, you doing everything in the house, playing video games, doing a podcast, doing all that. We in there kicking our doors trying to get out and get in the shower. We telling this nigga, sit the fuck down. We nigga, going crazy going, on was, the next nigga in the cell. I was doing a podcast in my crib. Yeah, we going crazy. I was doing, I was doing mobile. And we I was going talking crazy. to my man and Shirley. And he was like, man, don't you fucking complain. Don't you start complaining about shit, nigga. He want to hear nothing. I've been in here. I want shit. My mother used to tell me, I was like, I want shit. She's like, I want to go out the ears. I don't give a fuck. Right. Fuck is you talking about? Man, I'm ordering 100 soups a week for $40. I'm eating off of ramen. Eating bologna sandwiches. Niggas just getting big old bags. Right. looking like Santa Claus in this bitch. Because niggas don't know when the next time we're going to eat. That's crazy, man. Niggas wow. is going bankrupt. Sending thousands of dollars. Imagine you had a kid in there. You're going to be sending him thousands of dollars just because of COVID. That's why. So so you got kids, right? I got kids. So let, let, let's talk about that, man. Let's talk about your personal life, man. Let's talk mm-hmm. about, you know, you as a man, you as a father, man. So, you know, you spending that time away for your kids and shit like that, man. It was rough. Yeah? It was the worst part. How, how old was your oldest? Nine. Nine. So when you went in there, how old was he? Two. Two. God damn. All right, so... What was that transition like when you got home and you, you know what I mean? You got reunited with because, your kids. It's fucked up because when I went in, he was two. But my daughter was born a week after I went in. Mm. So, and then I got, I got, a, I got a 971. And I All just right. missed my son being born last year too as well. Oh, damn. So, like, 
my my daughter's birthday was May 17th. I was in California last month. I've been out there since. I moved. Right. I missed my daughter's birthday <laughs> to stay out there with this label. And like I like I come that's why I'm late tonight. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? I miss the birthday and all types of shit like it to spend that time. The, 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 me and my kid's life, you know, I do my shit as best as I can as a father. Like you can never call me a deadbeat, but it's like the lifestyle that I had and the reason why I had children, I wouldn't think I'd be sitting here with y'all. Mm. So when I first had my son, that was on some, let's go half on the baby because if some shit happens, all my niggas is dying, we going to jail for life. You talking about your oldest? Yeah. Okay. With my first baby mother. I'm trying That's to leave right. a legacy behind. My father, I got, it's eight boys, four girls. My father got seven baby mothers. I ain't got no kids and I'm active. Damn. Your dad Haitian? <laughs> nah, he's black. He's <laughs> from North Carolina. <laughs> but he's like, it's like, nobody knew it. This is when I was young. So nobody knew what the fuck was going to happen with me. So it was like, right. I'm like, yo, just give me, a, like, yo, have my kid. Like, on oh, some shit. Mm. She'll tell you. I'll do it for you because of who the nigga I was. I'll do it for you. Like, but you better make sure everything you do out here every day better go. If you do go, he gonna have to worry about shit. Right. I'm still here though. So what the fuck do you mean by that? That baby was supposed to be here in case the nigga wasn't here no more and I'm still the fuck here and I'm doing my fucking job. Okay. I ain't dead beat because so, I ain't so dead. What's nigga. your relationship with your son, man? Your man, they're perfect. Son. Yeah, yeah they're, they're perfect. My fucking son, uh-huh. is a he's a beast. Yeah. The nigga's no. smart as hell. Nah, he's the opposite of me growing up. Like, I know he's straight. The reason why I asked that, man, is because I saw you doing some shit the other day, man, with, uh, with that kid. Uh, you took him to Nike Town, got him some kicks. Right, um, I thought that was dope, man. Like no bullshit, man. And I, I really want to clap it up for all that, man. Because not too many niggas do shit like that, bro. Giving back, you know what I mean. Um, and being a father and seeing, you know, other kids in the neighborhood who might not be as fortunate to have, you know, father figures and shit like that. You saw something in that kid, and you was like, Nah, I want to do something nice for you because you a good kid and you doing the right thing, man. So, um, like, 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 walk us through that. Like, you know what I mean? Like, what was that about? So it was deeper than that. Mm. So like I said, right? <clears throat> Damn. I grew up and I've been in this shit for a long time. I'm 31. I've been doing this shit before this kid's age. I lost a friend that was going to be the biggest thing from Dorchester Fields Corner, Alex. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yes. <laughs> Alex DeSoto. Yeah, that's my guy. R.I.P. my nigga Alex, man, for real. And I'm shooting a music video at this house that I grew up in. And this kid just walked by. You see the music video. Niggas is out there. I'm out there on my shit. He's walking by with his dog. And I'm like, niggas is like, yo, looking at him. Because he's not no small kid. I'm like, he's good. He came out the house. So he's like, yo. He's like, he's like, you a rapper? <laughs> I'm like, yeah. And he's like, I swear I seen you for whatever. And I was like trying to shoot the video and shit. I couldn't even like put my back to the shit. Like, you know how I'm saying here. Like, you know what I'm saying? Right. So it's like, I'm like, you got a phone or something? Take my number down. I'm going to do everything. I'm going to talk to you when it's done. He's like, I ain't got no phone. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, well, go get a pen and paper and, get, and, and, I be, and come back. So he left off and I shot the music video. Boom, boom, boom. He came back out and I wrote the shit down for him. And, um... He didn't want to leave and shit, so I'm like, and cars is driving by. Where I shot the music video at, it's not a, it's not a safe house to shoot that music video at. Mm-hmm. That's where I grew up at. That's in a, you're not driving in there and leaving up out of there on that bullshit. Even if you don't see me, you got to deal with some people. I grew up in somebody's hood. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, right? That's like if I grew up in the middle of a project, but I'm not from that project, but I'm a child of that projects. You think you're gonna go in that projects looking for me past the niggas that are from the projects? Right. No, it don't work like that. So I, I didn't have to, you know what I'm saying, worry about shit like that. I didn't care about the gang life. I just like how my friends with his community feels cornered. It's my fucking million hoods, but we all ride together. You know what I'm saying? So long story short, I seen something this kid and I just knew it. And like, I see Alex all the time. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, I see him all the time. He was going to be in that same draft class era as Shabazz and them. You know what I'm saying? Alex was the truth. He was supposed to be. Then Alex went to jail for the gun. Yeah. And then he came home and he got murdered. That was some fucked up shit. Mm-hmm. This kid was... This kid watched Kobe Bryant. He was Kobe Bryant's protege. He was going to be... He would have been better than Tatum. Because mm. Tatum was Kobe Bryant's protege. Alex was nice. Alex, Alex was But nice. Alex had the hustle. Alex yeah. had the... He was hungry. Right. He knew he had to make it from where his family and how where he grew up from. He had to. Right. It was installed in him. Yeah. And and, and he got robbed from it. You know what I'm saying? Right. And I sat around and I witnessed shit like that happening millions of times with multiple friends. So when I seen this kid and he was the same age while all this shit was going on, I'm like, fuck this. Get your fucking ass in the house. Mm. I'm going to speak to your mother and i come see you tomorrow. This down the third. You know how I hang He said, we safe. Look at you. Y'all are straight. We straight. Get the fucking house. <laughs> yeah. So I took all the information, I finished the video, boom, bounced out. And then I met up with him the next minute. I mean, the next um, day, and I called him an Uber to Nike Town. I was um, out eating with somebody talking about music. And I'm like, damn, I couldn't leave. So I'm like, fuck it. Nike Town's right there. I was going to take him to Eblins in Phil's Corner. Mm. And I said, ain't no shit there for him. I ain't going to not take this nigga to fucking Eblins. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I... T- Eblins got some shit. Don't do Eblins. Get like the that. fuck like, out of here. Man, Young Cartel know? can't be at what? no Eblins. <laughs> I can't. The fuck. <laughs> Eblins yeah. got some shit. Nah, yeah, you got some shit, but I'm not about to, about to fucking do something for somebody like, like you said, as a father, as my son. I'm not taking right. my son to Eblins, so why I'm taking a little nigga from my hood to Eblins? <laughs> okay. All right. We're going to the same place we all go Newberry right. Street, right. Redential, all that shit. So fucking, um, Long story short, you know what I'm saying? This kid, that shit changed that nigga. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like, that kid, I'm sorry, but it's yeah. like, it changed him. Yeah. I was supposed to be with him today. Mm. You know what I'm saying? His hat right here, this is his hat. Mm. He's like, yo, I want that hat. I want to sign all that. So I got to give him this hat. I'm picking him up tomorrow. He got a basketball game tomorrow. All types of shit. I'm going there, bringing there. We're going to get food after the whole nine. His brother Tyree going to order him. We're going to be there. So it's Real like, right. you know what I'm saying? Like, that's and I'm dope. going, and then I'm, That's you know, what I'm saying so. My kids going, my son going to be there. Everybody's going to be there. You know what I'm saying like, I got, you know, what I'm saying like it's a, it's a, it's a function. You trying like to get that. that good karma back? It's not a good karma. It's like I'm supposed to be doing that. Yeah, yeah, yeah I get it. My name that. Joshua. Like you know, I study the Bible. I believe in God, so it's like I have a job and a duty here, and I believe that me you being sent to prison. Believe in Jesus and all them stories. Yeah, too? I do, bro. All them stories. Yeah. All them stories. I could we could sit here all night and get the water and all that. The and water get no. fucked up like cut that yeah. go, hey go. We ain't gotta get to those stories. Nah, I know it all, but I'm just saying like you know what I'm saying like I believe in second chances. Gotcha. So it's like you know what I'm saying. So this is my second chance. Why the fuck am I gonna play with it? Right. Mm-hmm. I can't say no to nobody. Right. Y'all can call me late night on some crazy shit, whatever. You are good, as long as you be on 100 honest. Right. Yeah. I get it. I don't care what it's for or what it is. I'm not going to question it, but I hope that I don't have to regret it. You're good. You still got P's, Q's, dot your I's, do all that shit. Of course. Come on. Especially, come on. It's chess always. Yeah. You you, you don't have a, the best. You didn't leave the best taste in niggas' paws in niggas' mouth in Boston. Like When your name come up, niggas don't be excited to be like, hey, yo, you say good things. There's not a lot of good things. Like exactly. you know what I mean? Like it's always like controversial, negative shit. Exactly. Yeah, you know I mean, so it's like what that has to be some. You can't say that it's all like nah, fuck that. Them niggas is hate. You had to hit some licks. <laughs> but listen, right? So when you say hit some licks, right? So when you hear something that comes out of somebody's mouth that's not from the person that it should be coming out of their mouth. And somebody get dealt with, that is hitting a lick. That's more than hitting a lick. I'm here tonight. I do everything the fuck I do because of who the fuck I really am. No man on this earth can sit here and really look me in the fucking eyes and do something and take it there on an extreme level for some bullshit that came out of the next man's mouth. They're not doing that to me out here. When you go to prison, it's the same thing there, it's worse. I when that. I go back home, it's worse. We come to this interview, this is nothing. Because when I leave here, I go back to that shit. And I stay there because 
I do do that, but I can't get here on there and talk about that with you. But you could go ahead and talk to somebody else that could be like, hey, I, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, they said this, whatever, but they heard word of mouth now. Nah, but like, what the fuck happened to the last nigga that said that shit? So what do you and say I, about the niggas who call you a rat? Who I've proved heard, it? I've, I've heard that from but, niggas. Okay, it's a heard and approved. Ass, these homes have niggas, man. What, what's okay, up with that? Okay, it's heard and approved, right? It's a herd. I've never seen the paperwork, hold right? Up, so, hold up, hold so when up, a nigga up, calls somebody a rat, I do want to see paperwork. I haven't seen it. But and you know what, why? What, and you what's know the story on that? When I told you to Ben do an interview from back then, I told you to ask me about everything, right? Right. So you think I'm gonna come here tonight for that? Of course, you came here for that. Of, of course, absolutely. You had to know. Because what the fuck am I doing? I'm going viral. I'm, I'm being spoken about. You ain't gonna have no motherfucking bitch ass rat ass nigga on your motherfucking platform that's really in these motherfucking streets and the nigga can't test that. Because at the end of the day, we could end this shit right now and we could go to this parking lot and around the corner and we could drop pens and I'm going back to my motherfucking address on this ID and I can leave it here. But where'd that story come from? Why would somebody call you a rat? It came from South Side of 808 Mafia. He brought that up. He was the first person to announce this to the world. And say what? Young Cartel, is your name Joshua Grays? And I said, yeah. And he said, oh, did you snitch? And I said, on who? He's talking about a case that I caught when I was 15 years old. I told you when I started, when I went to jail, when I was a child. Right. That case is nothing. Nobody ever got prosecuted, probation, locked up, questioned nothing because of that fucking case. It is impossible. That case alone, because as soon as I came out, that was 2010. From 2010, you talking about I've been fucking young cartel and I was out here doing everything and I was doing it on Homes Ave in my fucking hood, nigga. Look at all my motherfucking videos. So that's your hood, Homes Ave. What the fuck are you talking about? Yes. I'm asking you, nigga. Yes, that's just where I'm from. Okay. When I said but I these niggas, I dropped the so, tear, so, 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 I dropped the tear for my nigga for Homes Ave. Real nigga. On the mic, I dropped the tear for niggas for Homes Ave. Yeah, that's Yes, Alex, that's what the solo. fuck I did on your mic. Facts. Yes. Right, so why are these Holmes Ave niggas talking ill There's about? There's not a Holmes Ave nigga talking about. A nigga that is trying to back south side is a nigga that got a nigga locked up in a fucking feds. And he's not from over there. And what nigga is that? I'm not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> when you me. come here with Jerry Minutes and wrote paperwork, then I would do that. And I would do that. If I had and the I'm paperwork, come back. I would okay, have brought well, the paperwork. Okay, and then when you do that. If somebody get the paperwork. Come on, go ahead. I'm fucking with you there. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I want to. Because I wouldn't be able to walk that motherfucking yard or anywhere I was upstate where there's no PC yet. Fuck is you talking about? Look, man, I got to ask these questions. Yeah, and I want you to because then I told you to. At. This is where we at. I told you to ask these questions. Facts. They, they, what they. the fuck is you talking about? This ain't no surprise, nigga. Right. But but you acting like it is, my nigga. No, because because you really because you can't catch wreck on it. No, but you can't catch wreck on it. Because you can't catch wreck on it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. See this hold on, hold on. Because you don't hold on. Because you don't understand, right? <laughs> what what was brought up? What was brought up? Homes Ave, right? Yeah. When I was from Homes Ave, right? We was on. We wasn't even ten deep. What is Homes Ave now? A hood that got beef for who? I don't know. Hold up, they got beef for I'm 33 years old, on, nigga. You talking here. about, nigga? You ain't gonna come here with none of that shit. I'm over talking here. about Homes Ave and shit. Not know who the fuck Homes Ave got beef with, nigga. Okay. So I'm challenging you to that. Who the fuck they got beef with that's fucking with them right now and was fucking embarrassed, trying to be embarrassing? Who? So. Who? What rappers from this, Boston out of fire? <laughs> I respect talent. They were they fucking fire. But I don't know them niggas. Them niggas, I told you how old am I? 31. Okay, how old is Fredo? He's a kid. Yeah. yeah. Okay, no, he's not a fucking kid. He's a grown ass man. That nigga is doing his sound like a grown ass man. He's not a kid. Of course no he is. Right. How old yeah, is he now? How old is he? He's, how old is he? 20, he's 25, man. Nah, not 25. He's probably like 20, what? 20, what? He's younger. He's, he's, he's like 20. Yeah, yeah. Probably not even 21. What? Yeah, really? but so that's listen, what I mean when I say right? That's what I mean when I say he's a kid. But I respect I'm not saying, it. I but respect I respect Fredo. it because, but look, I respect it too. And niggas got and niggas feel some type of way because I said that seven nine eight cow, seven nine eight one cow, and G Fredo was the top rappers. And I put cousin Stiz, G Fredo, seven eight cow, King Bricks, Charlie Jizzle, A Zip. I put all the niggas that are really hot from Boston. Because after this interview, I was after the gun saying name a Boston rapper and he came Capone. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, why would you, you say that? that? Why'd you do that? Why would you say that though? That's like shit. Like. 
Ask me, that. ask me first. Like, ask know, me first. Nigga, we just what did you mean? Let me talk. Look at why you do <laughs> that. Why you do that? I'ma fuck you up. Like that shit Damn, was brother. That shit, you, that shit was unprovoked. Like, you can you ask like, let me explain? Right. You talking about going viral? You about to go viral as fuck, nigga. <laughs> 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 That on dead dog you are. <laughs> so at the end of the day, right? Mad views. You better do this shit 48 hour turnaround. So <laughs> listen, right? <laughs> These niggas was really it, bro. But I grew up in a neighborhood where they, you know, they have problems with now and this and you know, saying because of who they established they self with. Right. So when I was in prison and I was out there hanging around, it was never no beef with you know, none of them. Right. None of them, bro. I know Corday. I was upstate with Corday. I was up there with real official niggas from NOB. I was there doing time with niggas from the other side and all this and the third. And it was something to understand it because I am from a, di- a different generation. Mm-hmm. So if I was getting locked up at 12 years old, out here in these streets at 12 years old, putting in work for a hood, right? And I'm 31. Do the math. That's 19 fucking years. This kid is how old? 19. Okay, nigga, I don't fucking know them. And it's not disrespecting, I shouldn't respect. <laughs> I show love, nigga. Them niggas is fire. Them niggas, if they wasn't locked up right now, they'd be the biggest niggas. It wouldn't be no cartel. Hmm. Them niggas is it. King Bricks, you said in the beginning, is it. A zip is it? Jizzle and all them niggas is it? I'm not doing all this. I brought Boston on our platform because these niggas was in there talking shit to me about they don't know nobody from Boston but Millie's. And I said, "What the fuck, nigga?" I said, "All you know is me and Millie's." That's a slap to the face. So I told him to name one, and I told him rappers to look it up and shit. And he still didn't do his work, so I told him to name one. They still didn't name none. But guess what? Why didn't you I- name one? You want to know why I didn't name one? Why? Because who the fuck said free young cartel and shot me out and all that shit when niggas was out here throwing dirt on my name and didn't give a fuck about me? But now they want a nigga to shout a nigga name out. I mean, that's, nah, that's, nigga. That's a fair angle. That's nah, fair nigga. Angle. I, bro, I got on that motherfucking podcast, that motherfucking platform to reintroduce myself to the world to try to bring a difference and still do what the fuck I do. So if a nigga want to challenge that, then we could take it to a whole nother level because I I believe in a cause that I really do and I really working out here with niggas from the city and names that I said that are the hardest in the city. So after I leave this interview and I go do what the fuck you do, you're going to be like, this nigga really was a fucking lie because I never did fucking lie. Mm. It's not a lie. Look at every fucking top rapper, anybody that came in history as a top. What the fuck happened to their name when they was popping? Dragged through the fucking mud. There's a lot of things against the rapper can't come back, and one of them things is snitching, right? It's hard to come back from that as being a gangster rapper. Absolutely. You see, the, the the whole snitching shit, right? Look, I can't say what is and what ain't. Because again, like I said, I can never call a nigga a snitch unless I seen some paperwork. I'm asking you about what happened, right? You answered the question. Man, when, nigga, we, when, we about, when we when we talk about when we when we all right, what were you gonna say? No, because I went to jail for this shit, so I could talk about my case. That's the difference between what niggas don't understand. Mm. So when the nigga say this nigga told on a case, right? But a nigga was found guilty of it in dead time and never had no codies and nobody else got went to jail. And these niggas is adults, and I'm a fucking 15 year old child, right? If me and you catch a case, right? And you're fucking 20, 21, and I'm fucking 15, and I stab a nigga over 10 times. From a robbery going bad. Mm. And I'm the only nigga that do time from a child from 15 to 18. And you're out on the streets the whole time. And everybody ain't saying nothing. They show me love, canteen, candy, everything I want while I'm in DYS playing video games and all that shit. Because mm. I was this young black nigga from a Cape Verdean neighborhood. I was the preto. I'm not Cape Verdean. I'm not Spanish. None of that shit. So this is a Cape Verdean neighborhood that I was a part of. But it was my friends. This shit went deeper than what it was supposed to go. And we wasn't even out here beefing with niggas. So when niggas is beefing with Homes Ave, it's like, what the fuck? Like, nigga, when I was from Homes Ave, we wasn't beefing. It was me, Alex, everybody. We was ballers. We was dancers. We was rappers. We was, we was right. good kids. We just all hung together. Just happened to be in the hood. And the next minute, what happened? 
Everybody from Homes Avenue when I was there is all dead and niggas is doing life. So everybody that's from there right now, that's beefing right about, I don't know none of them niggas right now. They cannot say they know me. They don't because look at the age difference. Look at the generation. I am not a child, nigga. I'm 31 and I was off the porch early. My brother is 52. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So I've been off the porch early off the strip for my brothers that I was getting shot explaining their interviews. You know right. what I'm saying? So it's like, I've been involved in this shit before. I didn't choose this shit. Right. But one thing I don't play around with is that shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you think I'm going to leave up out of here and let a nigga still play with me? No, like, I can go to jail any day because a nigga want to try me. Mm. And I stand on that. Perhaps. All right, so let, let, let's get up off that, right? Let, let's let's let, let's talk about some older shit, right? What happened to the laptop? <laughs> this nigga crazy. You ain't watch the interview. <laughs> Where's the laptop? Somebody stole it from you. You ain't watch the interview. They took it from your crib. They stole it. Nigga hit a lick on me, man. They, they, they oh, ran up man. in your crib. Niggas hit and lick still. Mm-hmm. Part of the game. Let me see the laptop. Uh, this is true It was a nigga that was mad at me Because I robbed him My man's asked him Nigga you ain't never been robbed before <laughs> It's a part of the game Come on man <laughs> You know what I mean And it's not like You know what I'm saying It was like What are you supposed to do Like nobody like You can't control that type of shit You got a, you got a nigga that got millions of followers And he's a millionaire And he's a celebrity And he put your address on the internet What the fuck are you supposed to do bro Hmm. That same video where I shot the video just that lifestyle, that's the address he lead. So l- let's talk about NHL then, right? So NHL is your crew. Who's a part of NHL? The only people you know. Young Cartel. Yeah, that's all you need to know. Okay. The reason why I ask that is because I hear the NHL, you know, slogan brand right but the only person i know from nhl is young cartel so when when do you implement other artists and things of that nature I when have it comes artists. To that? okay like who that's what i'm asking you project baby joe okay Kay. he's from alabama i have paula 195 he's from boston dorchester i have an artist that i am looking at no heart ream he's tied through family okay you know what I'm saying? As well as Paul Law. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm going with people that's not her, but that really got talent that need to come up. Because I can't go ahead and pit somebody down that's from a hood and I'm from Boston. It don't work like that because NHL has smoke. Mm. And our smoke is not in Boston. Our smoke is fucking industry niggas, supposedly. Mm. So y'all niggas is beefing with broke niggas. I'm beefing with niggas that are millionaires and I have to. You think them niggas are still managed? No, At this we, point, no, because they know I didn't take the shit. So I mean, so how was it beef then? At this point, it's not. I could probably call him on the phone right now. It's not beef. I've been trying to tell him let's squash this shit. Like this shit's senseless. Like literally. You think they work with you if you try to, you know what I mean? Do some music with them and things of that nature. At this point, oh, it away mafia. Don't, you don't have to do music. I just squash it. Like, like the shit is nonsense. Like niggas is still like poking each other for no reason. And nothing happened on either side. And all I, at the end of the day is like, I really had nothing to do with that shit that happened. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I. <laughs> <laughs> nah, what's percentage wise, like percentage wise, fifteen percent. It was five percent. You'll be surprised. It's like niggas hitting licks, bro. NHL. I know, right? It's fucked up. Y- it? y- y'all, y'all niggas ain't never been on no ice black skates. Black man run down the street in a black hoodie too, right? We all got black hoodies. The same shit. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't the same shit. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. I get it, no. I get it, no. Close. Close. <laughs> but I read, nigga. <laughs> I get it. So I see you've been beefing with, uh, well I don't know if it's beefing, but like you've been this nigga beefing you, one you, third you, of you, America. You, <laughs> you you've been drawing a lot of attention, Jesus. to Jim and I four five. Oh man, and DJs and shit out here. Why you hate the DJs? Um, man? what's the story on that? Because you you know, so I've been seeing some things. Picking on I the was DJs. Just, 
Yeah, you don't hear nobody being played during the hours of where people are in traffic. Hell traffic nah. jam. So you Ain't have no a traffic mars. jam, right? You put on traffic jam, what you going here? I'm Slim Shady, and I'm that's some Shady. <laughs> nah, they still play that uh, Baby Bash song. They play that Sunshine. sunshine. <laughs> yeah, all Got the, me uh, lifted. Yeah, that shit is pathetic. <laughs> Our radio wow. station is tragic. So it it's like they only bad. give us airplay from 10 to 12 on Sunday nights when everybody in the city is going to sleep. When the jail niggas so in the city like, Yeah, listening. so it's like the lowest tune-in time. Mm. So it's like people don't understand in Boston when it's one of the most racist states, well, cities in America, top five easily. And we have the number one hospitals and the schools Damn, and everything. Five? Yeah. Yeah, look it up. What the fuck? You think I'm just talking some bullshit? I think top five is crazy. Okay, so I'll be... I couldn't saying, tell you. In America? Can I Google it? Like, all I mean, the this, South? This, we, yeah, like, that's what I was like, going like, to say. Like, There's mad Southern that, cities, my nigga. He's right? Oh, that, wow. You're right. All that's right. a stati- statistic? Who gave you that statistic? What, I, what? Somebody fucking backing me up? Yeah, somebody backing <laughs> Oh, shit, this nigga. This is statistic? Yeah. Can God. I get a shot? Damn. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> Give my man a shot, man. God damn, we top five? Are we five? Top five is crazy. <laughs> are we, are we, five? <laughs> we gotta be five. We gotta be. I know Florida got the first four. Florida gotta have the first four, right? There has to be a city in Florida. What, you didn't know that? Like nah, Sarasota know you didn't know or some that? shit. So you want to know why you didn't know that? Because tell I'm me. trying to tell you there's a history behind this shit. So you know what Malcolm X said? Malcolm X did prison time. In Massachusetts. Yeah. And he said, prison is the best thing for a man besides college. Mm. So, you got to understand where the fuck you come from. Not only where your roots is, and we already know you're black. Right. But where the fuck, why the fuck are you in Boston? Why the fuck they giving us free health insurance and everything? That that's the time. How yeah. did Haitians get here? <laughs> <laughs> like, I look at the map and like, yo, how the fuck did Haitians get Kay here? Verdians. K yeah, Verdians everywhere, yeah, right? Yeah, K yeah. Verdians, you don't know they don't know them yeah, nowhere else. Well, well, we know why the K Verdians, but the nobody else do. And other states, but, but yeah, listen, yeah, right? That's never so. Okay, yeah, that's my yeah. bloodline. So yeah. anyway, so it's deep down. But listen, right? I know my history. So Boston, like I said, Boston is one of the most racist in America, right? So we got the number one hospitals, number one schools, number one everything, right? So if we have the number one everything. Well, who the fuck is driving doing traffic jam on Monday morning to Friday morning doing the time where the radio deserves all the airplay? The white, white people, people that are going to the hospitals and the schools Sexist. and the police and it's all them. It's nobody okay. black getting in a car in Boston in the morning bumping jam ninety four point five. Probably back in the days they had jam scam or something like. Jam but scams was the like you know what I'm saying. But now, now you're not gonna <laughs> do that. You're not gonna do that. So if you go ahead and play, Ashley don't do no goddamn it's, it's jam like, It's just like Dunkin' Donuts, nigga. Look yo, yo, I'm yo. Let them, let them go play Monday morning. 8 in the morning to like 9.30. Yeah, it's Jim 94.5 in the traffic jam. We playing 8 Zip. King Bricks. Then, uh, what the fuck? Get the fuck out. Get the fuck. You're being hacked. You're being hacked, Sarah. You're being hacked. What the fuck? No, it's not happening. When does it happen? What the fuck is an 8 Zip? When the fuck does it happen? Right, right. When? Unless you're paying for money in the big time artists and then you're still paying for money in big time artists, you're still not getting that time like that. Okay, so so well, you crazy. attacking them online. What does that do for you? Controversy. No, I just I don't want to talk about it and I talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck does it do for you to sit here and interview me for? <laughs> nigga, cause this is lit, nigga. Okay, so me content. talking shit about so, a radio station I don't support. My brothers and sisters are I are spending hundreds and thousands of dollars on studio time and videos and fucking promo and all this shit and they can't even get a fucking radio's spin. Radio's dead, man. But you know that don't fucking matter. They ain't dead. I I live in California. I been I lived in Atlanta. I lived in New York. I lived everywhere. And everybody's radio station is lit. I don't even got to fucking connect my phone. Mm. You might get a radio station with some swears. Mm. 
You know, FCC won't allow that. You say that. Yeah. <laughs> we got radio stations when we in prison after 12 o'clock. We got the swears on it. This is true. Oh, the shit. Small, the smaller stations. Oh, shit. But not no iHeart radio shit. Not no iHeart radio shit. It's on the same frequency. It ain't no FM. You know, jail FM. niggas got the frequency down to a yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it on was, the same frequency, was, nigga. What's the shit they like in jail out here? Uh, you got hack on to a frequency right now. Be right 94.569230-1. And you be like, you nigga, you fuck nigga. You really, oh, shit, you hear them niggas? <laughs> It's too much time. Laughing. Man. He laughing. This shit's funny as shit. I can't wait. This shit's funny as shit. I, I'm all, I'm catching right. Too this much time in the hole, man. Nah, I didn't know too much time in a fucking hole. <laughs> You over here talking, you over there talking that bullshit. Yo, you, you gonna say, I get, and you ain't do no time on the hole. Zero visiting hours, nigga. You know what I mean? <laughs> and did y'all hear I had to open up this show? And y'all open up this show like this. Fuck that, you know what I'm saying? No, nigga. The show, woo, ah, ah. I ain't about to lie. I'm like, damn. You, you say Asians can drive? You know I'm they, saying, you know I'm saying, I, I'm saying that. You know they can't drive. You know they can't drive. Yeah, but. Yeah, but. So <laughs> you say yeah, but. <laughs> I don't know what it Every is. Every race can't drive if that's the case. I don't know what the science is, my nigga. Everybody can't drive if that's the case. The Asiatics don't got it. They ain't the only ones. I go first. <laughs> Good luck, everybody else. So what is this recent? She crashed or something? Because why yeah, y'all yeah, doing yeah, that? Yeah. To? She crashed on High Park Ave. Yeah, and a woman who crashed. She crashed on High Park Ave. I was going to Mandarin House, nigga. I was about to go to Mandarin House. I wanted to jack me for that. She blew a red light. Hit a baby with a mom in it and shit. Oh, yeah. that's not fucked up now. Oh yeah, niggas is doing worse. Niggas is hypocrite. But you saying niggas is about to get shot? It's a hot summer. That's worse. <laughs> Hey, yo, bro, it, it, yo, I live on Revere Beach. We talking right? about statistics. We yeah, seen but it. y'all not living where the statistic is at. I live in West Roxbury, my brother. Okay. <laughs> exactly. I was on Revere Beach. And you said Beach. Revere Beach. This young man, this young man. But he said it's going to be a hot summer. <laughs> it is going to be a hot summer. All the white bitches are going to be right with y'all chilling. Hey, y'all the radio guys, right? <laughs> wow, we in a hood like this. Yo, that's the hood. Boom, 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 boom. Yo, girl, go tell locked up again. <laughs> you don't watch Yo, we had him on the podcast. Yeah, yeah, the beach is turned up. The beach is turned up. I can't even get ice cream. Okay, Niggas so shot at the beach. Where? What beach? Revere, Revere. Beach. You heard about Memorial that? Young Day. Niggas. Yeah, young niggas. He didn't even aim at night. He hit a young yeah, girl. Yeah, little niggas. Once, so yeah. It was wildin'. It was wildin'. No, it was wildin'. That was wildin'. It was wildin'. It was wildin'. Fucking Revere ain't no deadly. I mean, but hey, man. I, I was out there with my baby, over, man. If I was homeless, I'd go sleep on Revere Beach. <laughs> <laughs> That's not bad. I mean. Yeah, I, exactly, I, I, right? I would, too, I, if I was homeless. But <laughs> you, I'm you get a good breeze over there, my nigga. I'm sure the state police gonna scrape you up out of there. Yeah, I don't know, man. You go. <laughs> They're gonna put you on melanin and cast, bro. Water, I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna be like, y'all ain't see me on the interview with them niggas. They <laughs> live out here, them niggas. I'm living with them. <laughs> oh, you know, checking on them. Yes, yeah, <laughs> yes, yes. I'm telling you, yeah. I'm Yo, telling so, so what you wanted to come up here and talk about, man? Because you, you, you told me you had some shit, man. So it's like, I got a lot of shit going on. Like, I like ideas and shit. Like, I, I like. Y'all talk a lot about shit that's current events and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? But, like, oh, it's a lot of shit y'all be missing, though. Like, mm, mm. y'all got a platform. Y'all should be, like, really, like, using this platform. Let me see that lighter. Using this platform to, ex like, expose this fucking city that y'all are fucking promoting. Okay, like what? Like the KKK, him and black men up. In downtown with the other year when they was coming out doing a protest and all KKK. that shit. And you, then a black girl that got hung in Hopkinton mask. Yeah, that was what we um, spoke about we that. Spoke we spoke about that. Okay, we but who else that. is speaking about it? We spoke about that. Uh, her mother's still speaking about it, but nobody else know that. Nah, of course. That, shit really that ain't no suicide. A Hell black no. girl gets jumped by a group of white kids and two and a half later is dragged to the woods and hung. From Come a tree? I How told, the fuck she I do told, that? I told this white couple in my office. And it's not enough evidence. They from Hopkins. But let, let that be a, a group of black kids, jump a white kid, and he get hung from a tree. All them kids is getting fucking 55 to natural life death sentences. Then oh, lethal absolutely. injection. Oh, yeah. Early. All types of shit. Early. Immediately. Expeditiously. I told this white couple in my office. I said, I was like, oh, y'all from Hopkinson? They was like, yeah. I was like... 
That has to be the most racist town in Massachusetts. It is racist. You want to know why it's racist? They whole face got as red as these motherfucking so lights. Listen, right, right, I had a job out there, right? I used to, when I came out of prison, I was working jobs. So I was working for this this moving company in um, Marlboro, Mass. And it was like a professional moving company. And we had to do a job in Hawkington. And like, I got the bottle of water and I was walking on my phone. I didn't want nobody to hear my conversation. Like, I got the bracelet on and all that. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? I got to check in on the phone. And I'm walking and a white guy came out. He said, what the fuck are you doing over here? I own all this shit. Are you fucking stupid? And he's like, yo, he's like, honey. Like, you calling me, but you about to go get a gun or something. I'm like, what the fuck you fucking? I was like, yo, 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 Steve, yo, Steve, get this nigga. I'm like, yo, I'm moving all your shit in your fucking house. He's like, you ain't touching shit in my house, you black motherfucker. And I was like, oh, shit. And I quit my job the same day. Because everybody I was working with was white and nobody said nothing. They say, Joshua, it's okay. And I'm like, it's okay. This motherfucker was about to... <laughs> This nigga said it's okay. What did he say? Did, did he shoot at you? Right. No. So, so I was like, so when I heard that story with the girl, I'm like, oh, I believe some bullshit oh, oh, out yeah. there. Oh no, 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 that was weird. And then they got happened. a long history yeah, of of happened. already reports that they don't give to the public about black people calling and making calls and not getting there on time and all types of shit. Real shit. True story. Hopkinson. It was a nigga that was on the news. Uh, I forget what 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 what, uh, what station he was on. It was a nigga, he, he was an anchor on like one of the news stations. He moves to Hopkinton. First week on the block, this motherfucker's taking his trash out. Black dude. Taking his trash out. These neighbors call the cops on the nigga. <laughs> Not knowing the nigga's a news anchor. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You heard me remember, remember that shit, right? I, I remember. We I forget talked what, about this. It's like ten plus years ago, nigga. We talk about all this. Damn shit. near twenty years ago, Hopkinton. You know what I'm saying? So like, yeah, like yeah, we 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 speak about that shit, my nigga. I, I, got, I, I don't know got, how often you tune but no, in. But 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 okay. So how many people in here know who the fuck Mark Wahlberg is? Okay. How about? many of y'all follow okay. him on Instagram? Okay. What's up? Nah, I don't. Any follow, of y'all follow, follow him? Follow niggas like nah, I don't follow Mark Wahlberg. We from? I don't follow him. Huh? We from Bobby Brown, Boston, you, Boston nigga. We from Bobby Brown, Boston. You follow, not Mark okay, Wahlberg, you Boston, nigga. Yes. How many of y'all follow Millies? We all do. We all follow Millies. Who follow one? Don't say. We all do. Who follow him? Every single we person in this Okay, okay, yeah. okay. Not me, Nick, right? <laughs> so listen, right? Y'all seen the post of him and Mark Wahlberg? Yeah. That's his man. Y'all liked it? Of course. <laughs> More than likely. <laughs> okay, what are you trying to say? Probably it took about half a second to like <laughs> no, it. No, but you don't follow Mark Wahlberg for a specific reason, but you like the picture with Millie's with him. Because it's a Millie's picture. We like picture. Millie's. <laughs> It's a quick Damn, movement. What is Don't make it a big deal. I'm making Don't it a make big, it a big deal. deal. Now, Don't fuck that, deal. nigga. Fuck that, because you Don't made a big deal with your deal. cartel. I'm no, addressing no, shit, nigga. My turn. It's a like. My turn. It's a like. Keep the camera. It's a like. Zoom. Is this why, thing why, on why, me? Why can't you? You know why Instagram, you can't no, see what no, people no. like no more? We about to go look at this shit. because it doesn't matter. You can't look at what people like no more. I love y'all. But we about to do this. But what is your purpose? What's your point? Let me talk. You about to beat me up because I ain't leaving to talk? No, no, no. I want to hear. Y'all gonna jump me? I wanna be the first nigga to get jumped on the radio. Like, I, I don't Podcast get it. Podcast like, like, order, I get jumped. I wanna hear it. Yes, the picture was like, nigga. Yes. Okay. I probably, but you said you didn't follow Mark Wahlberg. I don't. We don't. Why? Because we because don't, don't give don't a fuck, fuck about, about Mark, Mark Wahlberg. Wahlberg. Why don't my you? Nigga. But that's because you just don't give a fuck about him, right? What, what the fuck does Mark Wahlberg do for for us, my nigga? Millie's is hip hop, okay? Mark Wahlberg was was what? That's y'all. Is he not supposed to have a relationship? The hardest with rapper this in the bean, nigga. nigga. Is he you not? like that shit. The hardest rapper in the bean. I'm not mad at it. What you you don't think he's the hardest rapper in the bean? <laughs> What's the bean considered? Yo, you see, we have to stop this. Yeah. No! Yes, we, we have to stop yes, this. Yes, we do. No, no, we have to stop no. this. We have to stop this. Key, car key, car key. Nah, we have to we don't have your car keys. You have to change the narrative. <laughs> This I'm is, this, shot this is why we have nah. to stop. This is why nah, we have to stop. No, 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 Cartel. Nah, so, so this is why we have to stop nah, this. Nah, we got This is why we have to stop this because to. niggas on the outside looking in don't know shit about. But I'm talking about Mark Wahlberg. Nah, I'm gonna talk about Mark Wahlberg. Okay. Fuck is this? Mark because Wahlberg did a song. With the nigga Jordan Lucas. He did a whole video and with Mark the nigga. Mark Wahlberg is convicted of hate crimes against black kids. We, and yeah, we know, know that. Know but this. you still like the shit. We like Millie's shit. <laughs> You're dragging So, So you like every other Millie shit, but you skipped over that one. 
Oh, 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 you leaving? Where you gonna leave? Come on, Gartel. You know you gonna come sit back down, man. Cut this shit. <laughs> we got our first walk off. That's lit, nigga. I called it. <laughs> He's gonna come back. He'll be back. Where that nigga going? Is he really leaving? <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> CWTMV Radio History. We got our first walk off. <laughs> All right, All right. Well, that was the show. That was it. That was fun. We didn't want him to rap. <laughs> <laughs> you know we wasn't asking for no rap cuts to rap, but damn sure. Yo, Jack, you gonna rap? Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Well, I guess we out of here, man. Yo, okay. What's up, man? It's been real, man. It was fun while it lasted, cash, man. You know, you niggas know you need some cash, <laughs> man. <laughs> <laughs> we out of here. <laughs> 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 Please, 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 please